Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Georgia Public Policy Foundation, for allowing me to speak just briefly tonight about how I work in an area that's all about opportunity and all about the attainment of the American dream. Um, I, have, I was born in Georgia and have lived in Georgia all my life, and I count that among my blessings. Um, after graduating from the University of Georgia, came to Atlanta, became a CPA, worked for 25 years, really more than 25 years, in the for-profit sector. Um, I love business, and I love, like any good conservative, I love profits. Um, and I had never really felt drawn to the nonprofit world or to a particular cause. But somewhere along the way, that changed. My husband Jim and I have raised two daughters who now are thankfully in their 20s and both employed. Um, but during the years when they were in primary and secondary schools, we, like parents everywhere, um, had to navigate the increasingly complex and sometimes troubling world of K through 12 education. After several years in public schools, we actually moved our daughters to private schools, private Christian schools. Um, we worked like, and they graduated from those schools. We worked like crazy to pay the tuition, and it was a definite sacrifice. We were always so incredibly grateful that we could select what we felt were the absolute best schools for our daughters. And to this day, I take tremendous, I have tremendous peace of mind and heart to know that they were educated in a strong academic, disciplined environment that also affirmed and strengthened their faith. Now today, I am privileged to be leading the largest nonprofit organization in Georgia that works to provide educational choice to low and, and middle income families to provide them with that same sense of peace about the education of their children. This is only possible because in 2008, Georgia's elected officials enacted the Education Expense Tax Credit Law. This law allows Georgia taxpayers to make contributions to student scholarship organizations. And in exchange for those contributions, they receive a 100% Georgia income tax credit. The student scholarship organizations, of which Georgia Goal is the largest, uh, must use those funds to provide scholarships to students moving from public schools into the private schools of their parents' choice. The opportunities abound with every participant in the program. The children are able to attend schools that are academically challenging, disciplined, and safe. The parents are able to select the school that best meets the needs of their child. The thousands of Georgia taxpayers are able to actually make a difference in someone's life, to invest in an educational opportunity in Georgia. And even the private schools are able to reach out and bring in students from a variety of socioeconomic and racial and ethnic backgrounds. In fact, since 2008, there are the Georgia Gold Program alone has 7,000 students on scholarship, and of those families, all those families, the average income adjusted for family size is $25,500, and 36% of the scholarships are going to minority students. Um, we just cannot thank you enough, everyone here who has been a participant in this program, who has made a contribution to this program and help this thing succeed. Since 2008, we have received 36,000 contributions for more than $88 million. And that is just about a third of the amount statewide because there are other organizations like us. Um, thank you also, this is very important, to the Georgia legislators who have supported this law. It is truly your vision, creativity, and courage that gave birth to the best tuition tax credit law in the country. And following our earlier speaker, I would be remiss not to thank Hank McCamish as well, because in addition to the many other things he did, he actually took $1 million of his own money and started the first scholarship program in Georgia that was about providing low-income families with access to private schools for their K through eight children. In closing, I want to share a testimonial of a goal recipient named Austin Mulligan from Savannah, Georgia, because I think what he says expresses so well the, the gratitude and the hopes shared by thousands of Georgia students and families who are receiving this scholarship. The goal scholarship is more than just a scholarship. It is an opportunity, 
I was the proudest person alive knowing that I was given an opportunity not based on how wealthy my family might be, but on who I am as a person. This is my chance to show the world and myself what I can do. Thank you.